Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday video. If you're new here, my name is Brittany Jade and I do these What I Eat in a Day style videos every single Wednesday. So I hope that you guys enjoy them. And if you're new, I hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for clicking on this video today. Um, I am going to do a little bit of a different style today because I am going out on Wednesdays. Um, we always go to my daughter's gymnastics class and I'm actually filming this on a Wednesday. So it's kind of funny because I normally film these videos on like a Monday or Tuesday. Um, but I'm actually going to be filming it on a Wednesday, which is a pretty crazy day for us. So I wanted to give you guys like an authentic what I eat in a day on an actual Wednesday. Wednesday video, if that makes sense. So I have both kids with me on Wednesdays and we go, we drive like an hour to Nova's gymnastics class and then we typically will try and hit all the stores that we need to hit if we need to get anything. And today we're going to Costco um, and we're also gonna go to the Walmart, I think, or the Target, one of the two. And I'm making my daughter's breakfast right now. She eats Eggos with peanut butter um, on Wednesdays. And I thought I would show you guys what I'm going to start with. So I already worked out this morning and I already started my day with, um, I've already had like a bottle of my water and I did do a scoop of my Beachbody Performance Energize, which I always do before I have my workout. This stuff is bomb, the fruit punch flavor. And I'm gonna show you what I'm eating for breakfast today. Um, so for breakfast this morning, I'm just going to do this instant oatmeal with flaxseed. This is the Better Oats. And I really like these because it's really simple. Um, you just basically tear, the, tear it put it into the bowl and then fill it up to the line. You can fill this bag up to the line with the milk. I'm using this oat milk that I picked up from Costco. I like this milk, but I am gonna pick up the coconut milk today when we go to Costco and I'll show you guys what I end up getting. I like this, but I do miss the flavor of coconut milk and I find that I already eat a ton of oats in my diet already. So I'm just going to um, eat this and this is going to be my breakfast. Okay, so a trick that works for me whenever I'm going out, or not really a trick, but just like an essential for going out whenever I know I'm gonna be gone for a long time is packing snacks. So I've got some carrots and tomatoes here and some strawberries and um, one of the little uh, mandarin oranges. And then I'm also gonna pack um, a tablespoon of nuts and seeds. This is just like a fourth of a cup I'm gonna pull out of here. And then I'm also gonna bring my mother's milk granola bar. I've talked about these in a previous video. This is bomb, especially if you're breastfeeding and you need help with lactation. Um, yes, this is just a must. And I also pack Nova's snacks too whenever we go to gymnastics because she's always ravenous afterwards. So I'm gonna be bringing this with me because I don't know what my eating situation is gonna be like in the next few hours and I know I'm gonna be hungry. All right, so it's 8.45 in the morning and I've already had my first outfit change because of lovely spit up and my oatmeal is now cold. So I'm gonna scarf this down because I literally have like five minutes before I have to leave. Let me put you guys down. The balancing act. Yeah, so. Hi. Nova, what are you doing? She wouldn't eat any of her breakfast. Like she had like two bites of her freaking waffle that she begged me for this morning. Um, so yeah, so now I get to scarf down my food and we're gonna be probably a few minutes late. Hashtag mom life. Okay, so we made it in the car and we're only gonna be like two minutes late if we leave like right after I'm done filming this piece for you guys. But normally I have my coffee in the mornings, um, but I did have a scoop and a half of pre-workout. So I'm feeling like really energized. I'm probably not gonna have a coffee until after gymnastics, like my afternoon pick me up. And I'm probably just gonna order from Starbucks because we're in the city where there is a Starbucks. So I'll show you guys how I order um, 
like coffee and food when I'm out on a busy day. The whole purpose of this video is to show you like that you can eat healthy even when you're on the go. Um, and I'm planning on getting my lunch out and I'm also planning on getting a coffee out, but I'm going to keep the calories and the sugar down, like way down. So you guys will see how I do that. Lentils. Ooh, you wanna try some? They're very delicious and tasty. It's our organic tasty bites. Oh. India. Okay. Let me try. If you're wondering if they're spicy, they're not. Mm, they're, they're really good. Can you try? Though, but not spicy. Like, very delicious and tasty. It's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it's no more? vegetarian friendly as well as it's certified by the United States Foreign Health and that's really good, thank you. Thank you. You're, You're so nice, Nova. Okay, so these are all of the milk options at Costco. And I think this time we're gonna go with the almond milk. Okay, so I am sitting at Costco. We did gymnastics. We got to Costco, got everything that we needed from there. We're getting gas right now. And I decided that I'm not gonna actually buy anything to eat out here because I still have a ton of my snacks left. Like I still have my fruit and my nuts and seeds. I ate my granola bar and all my carrots and stuff. And I'm not really that hungry yet. So, but I am gonna get coffee out here. So I wanna show you guys how I got coffee, so. And yeah, plus I don't really want to spend extra money because we just spent like an obscene amount at Costco. But in my defense, it is the holiday time and I did prepare for this. Um, and yeah, my daughter's birthday party is on Saturday. And stay on the lookout, you guys, for a party, um, a party haul and like uh, how I'm doing DIYing a lot of Nova's birthday party on a budget. So I'm really excited for that video to drop. I think that will actually go out before this video so if you haven't seen it already go ahead and um check the um check my other videos on my channel or i'll have that linked up in the cards for you guys so yeah let's go and get coffee oh my god you guys i'm sitting here at this freaking thing thinking that this is where i take my order there's no box that's hilarious it's up here that is so funny oh my gosh how embarrassing i'm glad nobody's was behind me Hi, um, can I please do a grande cold brew coffee with uh, heavy whipping cream? And then can I do two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and two pumps of sugar-free uh, cinnamon dolce? And can you blend that frap style without a base for me, please? Okay, it's going to be 374. Thank you. Thank you. So good. Okay, guys, time for the grand finale. So. I have never personally tried this before, but I saw it. Hold on, let me stop driving. Okay, so I've never personally tried this before, but I saw it on like a, um, like a keto website or blog or something, like several different like keto restaurant or keto beverages that you can order from Starbucks or whatever, like that are low carb, low sugar, like, you know. So. Yummy. Yummy. I like, um, I'm pretty open cup and I like, um, I cream. It's really good. I, it's really good. Hey mom, I like, I like oatmeal. And normally I like my drinks like really sweet and this is like sweet enough to where it doesn't taste nasty. But I can tell that it's like not as sweet as like the pumpkin cream cold brew, which I love, 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 love. But hmm, gotta cut the calories, girl, gotta cut them. Hey guys, all right, so we're back from gymnastics. I feel like I always have all of my cupboards open in my kitchen. My husband 
it drives him crazy that I do that. But anyways, um, we just got home from gymnastics. I just laid Nova down for a nap. TJ is napping, so I'm going to utilize this time to prepare myself some lunch. I'm just gonna make a salad. I've got some eggs boiling on the stove over here. As you can see, the best way to boil eggs is to put them in a pot, cover them with cold water, bring it all the way to a boil, and then um, you leave it boiling for, I'm gonna have the instructions like on the screen for you guys because I don't exactly remember right now. I have to look at my phone again, um, but I've done this before and literally it's like the easiest way to hard boil eggs. It's like the perfect time um, and they peel nice and easy when you do it with this method. Um, but I'm just gonna make a salad which requires boiled eggs. But while I'm waiting for that to boil, I'm going to pump really quick and then I'll show you guys what I have in my salad. Okay. All right, guys. So it's 2.30 and of course I didn't eat lunch actually when I got home because the kids were sleeping. So I had a million things that I wanted to try and get done and now they're both awake. But anyways, I just have a bed of spinach and some romaine lettuce here, a perfectly boiled egg. This was so nice and easy. That method that I showed, uh, that I told you guys about came out perfect and it was so easy to peel. So I've got an egg for my protein, some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, red onion, tomatoes. And then for my dressing, I'm just going to do a little drizzle of tahini, um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Not a lot, guys, on this. Be really easy. Um, a squirt of lemon and some salt and pepper. And uh, this is such a good salad. Let me, it's so good. Some people might think that this is kind of gross, but honestly, like, this is the only way to really get it all mixed in together good. Oh, and if you're looking for a way to save your avocados, if you're looking for a way to save your avocados, make sure that you put them in a mason jar. Like, this has been out on the counter for a day and a half now, and I mean, look at it. Two days. This is the bee's knees. But I am going to add the other half of this avocado that I have in here. I'm just going to mush it up and kind of add it together. And... Yeah. Okay, really quick. Random unpopular opinion. But I always make these sandwiches, peanut butter and jellies, for my daughter. And I use the cutouts to cut them in shapes. And somebody asked me on my Instagram, what do I do with all the crust? And honestly, I eat them. Like, this is my favorite part of the sandwich is the crust. So good. Okay, so the lighting is really bad in here because it's nighttime. But um, we are going to be making some shepherd's pie for dinner tonight. Super quick and easy. I just have um, five five, oh, darn it. I just have five potatoes that I'm going to peel up and boil really quickly. And then I've got my ground beef already defrosted. I'm going to chop up an onion and some garlic and uh, just some seasonings and some peas and corn, um, peas and carrots. It's like literally the easiest recipe ever.
I never, my camera died and so I never got the end of it, but all you do is you put the potatoes on top, you put some cheese on there and then you put it, whoa, weird coloring. You put some cheese on there and then you put it in your oven for like 10, 15 minutes and then you turn the broil on at the very last minute. And yes, this is my dinner. All right guys, so that is everything for what I'm eating today. I'm totally stuffed. I'm done eating for the day. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, hanging out with this little guy. And yeah, so thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope that you would consider hitting that red subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss any more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.